Palayan, officially the city of Palayan, is a fifth-class city and capital of the province of Nueva Ecija, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 41,041 people, making it as the most sparsely populated city in the Philippines. Palayan was created in 1965 by the Congress of the Philippines and one of seven planned cities in the Philippines the other six are Manila, Baguio, Quezon City, Trece Martires, Coronado and the island garden city of Samal. The new provincial capital of Nueva Ecija is located here. Barangays Palayan is politically subdivided into 19 barangays. History On March 25, 1952, leader of Nueva Ecija composed of then-Governor Leopoldo Diaz, Congressman Jesus Iligan, and board members Dioscoro de Leon and Antonio Corpus, Don Felipe Buencamino and all mayors of Nueva Ecija called a special consultation meeting in Manila to discuss and consider the transfer of the capital of Nueva Ecija from Cabanatuan to other municipality. Several locations and proposals were suggested, specifically Gapan, San Jose, Santa Rosa, Gimba, Talavera, General Tinio, Balak, present-day Santo Domingo, Munoz and government stock farm within Lore and Bongabon. After hours of lengthy and conscientious deliberation, it was unanimously agreed that the government stock farm be made as the capital site. In 1955, President Ramon Magsaysay declared the portion of the territorial area of the government stock farm as open for settlement as ING 130 pursuant to Presidential Proclamation No. 237. On June 19, 1965, the Congress of the Philippines enacted RA 4475 creating Palayan City as the new capital of Nueva Ecija. While the stock farm is not virtually rice land, Palayan was chosen as its name, the province being dubbed as the rice granary of the region and the country. Finally, the city government of Palayan was constituted December 5, 1965 with then-Governor Eduardo L. Joson as its ex officio mayor while the board members constituted its first city council. Meanwhile, Iglesia ni Cristo, under the administration, bought a large tract of land near Lore and encompasses Palayan City to shelter affected Inc. members working in Hacienda Luisita which was evicted and voluntarily left the Hacienda in order to prevent bloodshed and violence due to their disbandment on the Union. On August 1969, the city was enlarged by virtue of RAW 6052 authored by then-Congressman Angel Concepcion which provided for the inclusion of the military reservation in Lore and Fort Magsaysay cantonment area within the municipality of Sta. Rosa. Elpidio O. Cusio was then appointed mayor with Felipe Bautista as the vice mayor. In the subsequent local election, they were elected as first elective local officials including councillors Flor Agustin, Tranquilino de la Cruz, Antonio Pascual, Federico Dacané, Luis Lacal and Thomas Lumawig. The year 1969 also placed Palayan City in the map of national and international scene when it hosted the National Jamboree attended by thousand scouts and even foreign scouts from other countries. In 1972, by virtue of Proclamation No. 893, portion of the government stock farm was allocated for the displaced population of Pantabangan because of the construction of the dam. The resettlement site was eventually converted into regular barangay known as Marcos Village. In 1983, the training ground of the Philippine Army was transferred to Fort Magsaysay from Fort Bonifacio in Metro Manila. This paved the way for the development of the reservation area into a training complex to serve the Army's training requirements. During the historical EDSA revolution on February 1986, nationwide overhaul of government leaderships from national to local took place. Don Pacifico M. Fajardo was appointed officer in charge together with Flor Agustin as OIC vice mayor by then President Corazon C. Aquino. Then his brother Engr. Virgilio Fajardo also assumed as OIC. Then prior to 1987 election, Vice Mayor Felipe Bautista took office as OIC with Councilor Aquiles Salcedo Sr. as OIC Vice Mayor and on that election, Pacifico M. Fajardo and Mabina Anqueta won the mayoralty and vice mayoralty race respectively. 
Palayan is also the birthplace of the Asianwide Green Scouts movement in 1993 when the first RP Japan Bilateral Ecology Work Camp was held in the city that eventually led to the establishment of Project, Kawayang Buhay and Asian Ecology Forest being supported by the Asian Friendship Society. On 1995, two more barangays were added to Palayan City from 18 to 20. Barangays Papalan formerly of Bongabon was annexed by virtue of RA no. 8030 and approval of the people in a plebiscite on October 1, 1995. Then Bagong Buhay, one of the three resettlement areas was converted to a regular barangay during a plebiscite on November 26, 1995. In 2002, the construction of the new capital in Palayan City was completed. The Provincial Museum of Nueva Ecija is located in the new capital building. A technology business park was planned but progress about the plan has not been updated for at least three years. Demographics Religion Roman Catholicism comprised the majority of religious affiliation in Palayan City. Iglesia ni Cristo, on the other hand, have nine local congregations or places of worship in Palayan City alone including the INC resettlement areas in two barangays namely Barrio Malagaya and Bagong Buhay where all of the residents are members of this religious organization. Barrio Malagaya is the resettlement area where Inc. workers from Hacienda Luisita settled. Bagong Buhay is the resettlement area for victims of Mount Pinatubo's eruption. Islam comprises about 3% of the population. Sister city Tagaytay City, Cavite References External links Palayan City Official Website Pasilan Nueva Ecija Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System